What kind of job should you, should you look for with the MBA? Yeah. But I think you need to be creative with it. I mean, I, that MBA I would not even just keep it to business. Like the, the, the management skills that you were learning there are applicable across a whole array of things. So I would look for whatever it is that you want, and that MBA just adds that little salt, makes it taste so much better. So um, I would, I would, that's just a great skill set to have because you just know how to run things uh, to make it profitable. Uh, and in nonprofit cases, just to make sure uh, that you you have uh, you can't you can't make a profit per se, but you don't want to be in the red. And so you know how to make money uh, for the organization and return it back to uh, the community and just be successful. So, I, I mean, I would just be creative in how you address it, that skill set that you have. So it'll be a fantastic one. Even when I'm speaking to young folks, if I, if I might, I always I mean they're always focused on uh, what they can do without education. <laughs> And, and it's, to me, it's like, I think it is a possibility that you can be successful without it. Uh, the probability is a lot smaller. And if you have a door and you have a key that you can open the door with, why not use the key instead of opening the door some harder way? And so for me, the education was always that key that's just going to open that door so much more easier. And having that grad degree uh, made the key from like silver to gold. Like so. <laughs> I encourage you to, to, to find sort of what your passion is. Really think about what gets you out of bed in the morning. Um, and that will help you figure out. If, if right now you know you want to go to graduate school and you're trying to figure out which degree is the right one, um, I think I joined the council member um, who previously said that a lot of these degrees, to sir, to your question about an MBA, can be trans transferable skills. I think that um, I, I believe, I, I'm living proof, right? I, I gained, I got an MPA at Princeton and I'm not in a traditional sense doing, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I didn't run for office, right? I'm not, I'm not in, I'm not in government right now, right? But it was a transferable skill set and I learned a lot of different analytical and quantitative and, and statistical skills um, and just really opened up a world of opportunity in terms of um, the network available to me. So I think that if you're in this room, that's uh, that's a great first step and I think now it's about um, I think you have the drive to be here and, and learn about all the different opportunities I think um, then you're probably at the place where you are ready to do some soul searching and figure out what gets you out of bed in the morning what drives you and what what will make you um, a, a happy um, just individual and, and a, a contributor to to make this world a better place so good luck